What is up YouTube and I'm back with part 3 of Red Dead Redemption. We're back in Armadillo. Alright you gotta slow down in town. You gotta slow down. Holy fuck what are you doing? God damn it. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarlane, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Your outlook? I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road, and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Mr. McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business is Williamson your is your business, good. but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. John here already has tried to get his way out. He of uh, this lifestyle, but you know. You never he tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> and at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back <laughs> there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Please. So this yes. is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Howdy. I got stock to them. Yes, and my guy John needs some chewing tobacco. Ooh, I don't. I don't remember bank of Armadillo. Can we rob this place? Can we? Holy fuck. All right, let's not do this mid-mission. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. At least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. You just gonna leave my guy John here? 2018. What the fuck is going on here? I'm gonna cut you a new hole. You think I'm a joke? You're dead. My, my guy. You wanna die? I tried to take you out without killing you, bro. But you decided to bring your revolver out. Fuck you. 
Give me all your ammo. You don't need that anymore. There we go. Justice and Pike Spacing. Hello. Hello. Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello. It's a new line. Hello. Hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now <laughs> guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. All right, let's go deal with them. Deal with them fools. I don't know if this is my horse, actually, but it is mine now, so. Damn right. You better shut the fuck up, boy. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash. Came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. Let's turn the rifle out. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Dude, shut the fuck up. And we'll, bro. You're lucky we're with you or else you would have been the first to die, man. Fucking Jonah. She kind of liked the guy. He's pretty funny at times, but... Why did he stop, sir? Sir? Do we go forward? Look out! Watch the guard! Gun him down! Where the fuck is he? Holy fuck, man. Where am I getting shot? How the fuck are you still alive, bro? Die, man. We got you. We got you. I got you, man. Got you too, bro. What are you doing right there? Get down. That's what I thought, boy. 
Either fight you should follow Marshall Johnson or the deputies. You know what? I'm gonna follow Marshall since he's alone by himself. I got them bro, no worries. No worries, sir. How the fuck are you still alive, bro? I got you in the head, man. Die, man. Get out of here. Get down, boy. No problem, sir. You're right, Tom. There you go, man. Shot you in the back, boy. Which I usually I shouldn't have done. You don't shoot a man in the back when he's running. Ooh, gonna shoot. It looks like some explosive material right there. Is that? Nah. Get down, bro. Get down, bro. And she down, she's down. Get in, get in, get in. stay down, stay down. And stay down. Stay down, bro. Stay down. I want to see you back. Oh, we'll get them all right, Marshall. Don't, don't you worry, bro. You got you, got you, got you, man. Die, bro. And stay down. And we got you. Are you kidding me? Dude, shut the fuck Stay up before I shoot you too. Stay down, boy. Fuck you think you are trying to sneak up on me like that. Got you. Right in the north like head, the Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. No problem, bro. No problem. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and back piss salesman. <laughs> Con's housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli.
Damn, better get the cattle back safe. All of it. Hmm, I like how he's just chilling there after. Damn, my guy is rich now, apparently. Nigel West Dickens can be found in Cola Springs. We're not gonna be doing that right now. I'm gonna see what I can find here. I wonder if I can sleep in one of these, no? My guy John needs a place to sleep for the night. Alright, YouTube. We are gonna call it a day at this moment right here.